In this bulletin, billions of bills and statements to go paperless. HP changes its policy on who can sell their printer cartridges. And scores of Cartridge World shop owners are encouraged to embrace change. From across the planet, Recycling Times keeps you in touch with the latest computer printing news. Hello, I'm David Gibbons and here is the news. It has been estimated that 8.6 billion fewer bills and statements will be printed on paper by 2017. Research group InfoTrends has just spent five months looking at what they call the transactional communications market. They conducted 2,025 consumer surveys, 267 business surveys and more than 20 in-depth interviews. They expect about one-third of bills statements, legal notices, letters, payment, due reminders and confirmations currently being delivered to consumers in the US will be paperless in 2017. They will all be digital. This means billions of pages will not be printed and mailed out, although some consumers may still print them out at home or at the office. The full report can now be seen online. HP is tightening up its control over the distribution of its brand new printer cartridges. According to Actionable Intelligence, HP may very well be following the lead taken by Epson and Lexmark to allow only licensed dealers to sell their authorised products to the public. This means cartridge remanufacturers who currently sell new HP branded cartridges to their customers will have to obtain a reseller agreement. HP says resellers in the United States must have a US Partner Agreement or US Consumer Reseller Agreement in place by November 1. It's time to embrace change affecting the printer cartridge industry, according to Cartridge World's Global Development Manager. Harry Stubos encouraged the owners of the 260 shops across Australia and New Zealand at their annual conference on the Gold Coast in Australia. When you get people collaborating and working together as a team, I think you've got a very powerful brand that's uh, working behind the scenes. So these things are very important, just from the motivation, the morale, and more importantly, I think, going forward, just to understand what we need to do better. He says Cartridge World Shops should continue to improve on their current best business practices and new products to target a wider customer base. Stu Boss says Cartridge World Shops are different to other sellers of cartridges because they have a solution-oriented mindset, which is what businesses want. The fact that we're in the number 61, I think it is, global's best franchise system in the world, and from an Australian company, number one in the top 100. So collectively, as a global brand, we're big. Cartridge World invests in technical and research and development to provide all 1,400 shops around the world with the newest and latest equipment to deliver high-quality cartridges for consumers. Police have raided a company in the United Arab Emirates for making counterfeit HP ink cartridges. According to online news agencies Emirates 24-7 and The Gulf Today, UAE police claim it was the biggest haul ever seized with a street value of 76 million US dollars. Two Chinese dealers have been arrested for the production, distribution and selling of the counterfeit products. And in brief, Ricoh's income rose 48% in India during the fourth quarter of 2012. Rico bosses expect growth to continue in 2013 with the new business units, including laser printers. Clover Holdings, which claims to be the largest cartridge remanufacturer in the world, has been added to the 2013 Fast 50 list of Chicago businesses. To get onto the list, a company must have had at least $20 million of revenue last year and no declining revenue for the past five years. Clover enters the list of 50 at number 25. Clover turned over $750 million last year, had a 221% growth rate over the last five years, and employs 15,000 workers worldwide. Polypore has signed a new exclusive distributor for Spain. OpenPrint will distribute Polypore's range of 220 remanufactured toner cartridges in Spain, all certified by the Nordic Eco label. 
According to research group Gartner, less than 10% of today's companies have a true information strategy. And China's print consumables market may very well be at the crossroads. You can read more about that in this month's New Look News and Views Recycling Times magazine with Uninet's Nestor Saperiti on the front cover. Well, those were the biggest stories in printer and consumable news this week. See you again next week. I'm David Gibbons.